creature romances, boys. You ever wonder what it would be like to hook up with a bug chick? We're about to fucking find out what it's gonna be like to hook up with a bug chick, bro. <laughs> you ain't even fucking know. <laughs> Let's hook up with a bug chick, bro. The promises of youth often fade from the mind. Uh, oh no, no! Day one, Monday, September 3rd. I'm rudely awake awakened by a rapping sound at my window. Rapping? Like, bars? Quit it. I pull the covers over my head in a futile attempt to escape the noise. Let me sleep just a bit longer. Tap tap. Five more minutes. Tap tap. Thunk, bam, wham! Hey, that's going too far! Springing out of bed, I rush to the veranda and open the window. Thunk! I feel a dull pain in my temple. Ow. Hey, Kokoro. You could have done that a bit more nicely. <laughs> <laughs> the voice it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> About time you got up. We're going to be late. Below the veranda, I find a typical scene. Konakoe Kokoro, my childhood friend, gazing up at me with a huge pile of pebbles at her feet. You, <laughs> you gotta get ready. All right, all right, jeez. Apparently I'm still a human though. <laughs> I rush to get myself ready and leave. Sorry I kept you waiting. Aren't you supposed to say I'm off when leaving? <laughs> I can't do <laughs> Sure, but there's no one else in the house. My parents are currently away on a trip overseas, and my sister already left for school earlier. No buts, you still gotta say it properly. Okay, okay, I'm off. Sure, see you later. Kokoro grins and waves me off to school. Wait, you're not supposed to see me off? Sheesh! You're always fussing over minor details. Is this really the time to sulk? Aren't we in a hurry? Oh, right. We've got to run for it! We don't have any toast to put in our mouths! And the two of us dash towards the high school. I, Itchy Nose, Itchy Taro, Itchy Nose, <laughs> have been living near Kokoro's house since we were kids. So we used to play together a lot. We've been childhood friends through elementary, middle school, and now high school. Right now we're 12th graders, and this is our last spring in high school moments before taking the entrance exams for universities. Ichitaru, did you do your math homework? Homework? We had homework? Our breathing is ragged from talking and running at once. Yes, we did it. Don't tell me you didn't do it at all. It's not that I didn't do it. It's that we didn't have any. Our teachers assigned it yesterday. Really? Yes, really. When's our math class? Fourth period. Great, that means I'm in luck. Let me guess, you want to copy my answers, don't you? Please, Kokoro? Forget it! Some things you just gotta do on yourself by yourself. I'll buy you lunch. Oh? What kind? Ramen! Cheapskate. Udon! That costs the same! Okay, you win. How about the ladies' lunch? Now that's more like it! You're seriously cold and calculating. Oh? Should we just forget our deal then? Wait, I was wrong. Kokoro's the kindest, bestest person ever! Quit talking so loud, it's embarrassing. Hee hee hee. Jeez. <laughs> what riveting dialogue, dude. <laughs> what, what riveting dialogue. After taking a seat, my friend Masagawa, Mas, Masa, bleh, Masagawa Masato soon makes his way over. Yes. Mord. Now that guy looks kind of cool, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Yo. How come I'm the only not monster? Morning, Masato. Both of you barely made it as usual. That's because Ichitaro refused to wake up. Look, my nose itched. I couldn't help it. Are you his wife or something? Stop saying weird things. My bad, my bad. Listen, Masato. 
Ichitaru asked for my notes again today. Homework? <laughs> if I didn't do it, I'm not gonna do it. Masato? You're manly. Manly! Ichitaru, you've forgotten something important, haven't you? What? Masato is a genius, so he's fine, even without doing homework. I'm one of those students that can answer any question on the spot. That's true. At first glance, Masato seems like he would be a delinquent with poor grades, but he's actually a top genius that excels at every subject. You're free to copy my notes today, but you better finish it yourself next time. She hands over her math notes with a sigh. Yeah, thank you. Really? What a partner. <laughs> the classroom door opens and the homeroom teacher enters. Oh, that's a door opening noise. <laughs> Whoa! Everyone take your seats. After the call, students sluggishly return to their seats. Ko Kokoro and I sit beside each other in the back row. Let's begin. I love how squeaky he sounds. That was delicious. It's afternoon recess now. I brought Kokoro a lady's lunch and thanks as a thanks for allowing me to copy her homework. That's nice to hear. If I get to eat this every day, I guess I'm fine with you copying my homework. You sure? <laughs> Just kidding. You better do your homework by yourself from now on. I knew it. You're already in grade 12, you know. How's your test scores? Oh, cut it out. My results are the worst of the worst. I don't think I'll be able to get into a single university, even if I try. What about you? Aiming to enter Tokyo U as usual? Yep. Isn't that pretty far? Better quit while you can. I'll be living alone, so it's not a problem. Well, that's true. Living alone is fun, too. Tokyo U, eh? I don't think there's even a ghost of a chance for me. Who knows? I believe you can if you try. Let me make myself clear. It's impossible. You're brushing this off too easily. Since Masato is planning to enter Tokyo U as well, let's all aim for it together. That's because both you and Masato are smart. Since you have two of us here who are academically capable, you can have us tutor you, don't you think? Don't you think? I don't know if even that'll work. I'm not giving up on you, no matter how bad you are at studying. That kinda hurts. Don't laugh out loud here. Well, I'll just make my own way, casual-like. Casual, eh? Next period is swimming! Girls swimming, huh? I gotta go change now, see you later. I don't want to see that in a swimsuit. I'm, I'm sorry, but I... <laughs> I just don't want to see that in a swimsuit. <laughs> Fifth period. Boys PE on the field, playing soccer under a blazing hot sun. So hot. This is discrimination. Yeah, the girls get to swim. Damn it! So hot I could melt. Ugh. I feel like jumping in the pool right now. Huh. That's right. What? What is that grin on your face for? I don't think it's possible for us to enter the pool, but we might be able to sneak off to the showers. At the changing room? Yeah. Well, we're at it. <laughs> okay, let's go. The changing room is locked. The hell is this? He shakes the doorknob hard enough that a huge rattling sound can be heard. Hey, stop. You let everyone know we're here. <laughs> this, game, this is so fucking bad, dude. <laughs> Damn it. I won't just let them lock us out. It can't be helped. We can't back down now. If we go back completely empty handed, we'll just be losers. Huh? Wanna take a peek? At the girls swimming, that is. Okay, let's go. We quietly move to the poolside and sneak a peek beyond the fence. Hey, Ichitaru. This is good. Let's see, let's see. Oh no! I didn't want to see in the swimsuit! <laughs> Why does it have boobs? <laughs> that is so uncomfortable, dude. <laughs> Gulp. I can't help but get nervous at such a sight. 
<laughs> it's a feast for you. <laughs> <laughs> Before my eyes is a strikingly beautiful figure. <laughs> I can't, dude. Kokoro. A glossy, shiny skin. And those plump, soft breasts. <laughs> and that butt that feels like you could just slap your palm on it. Oh. And that silhouette that tightens up just perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just keep staring at Kokoro. That's not true, liar. But hey, she sure is top and leading. So she's a top. Even for a childhood friend, it's been a while since I last saw her like that. Well, yeah, she has grown. You're really erotic. Dude, really? Bro. <laughs> really erotic. Will it eat my head afterwards? Dude, that's a good question. I wonder if this bitch... I wonder if there's like an ending or something where we we sex her up and she just fucking murders us. I feel like that's not the direction that this novel's gonna go, though. This is, this is just a hunch. It's Kokoro's turn to swim. Splish! Her gorgeous form jumps in right at the blow of the whistle. She swims rapidly, the water slicing apart in front of her, literally. Her speed outclasses all the other girls as they struggle to catch up. Fast, as usual. Amazing! The girl's been naturally exceptional at swimming since she was a little kid. According to Kokoro, the web between her fingers is much wider than it is for others. Oh. Didn't she mention that she dreams of becoming a swimmer or something? Hmm. Then, is she aiming for a sports university then? I don't think so. Uh, that's what, that was when we were still little kids. Now she's aiming for Tokyo U. I see. You sure know a lot. Well, yeah. They, they, they talk like daily, of course he knows a lot. We've just stuck together a lot. Oh, she's up. No, why'd he go back to this? Please, dude. As expected, Kokoro takes the top spot. The water runns off her in rivulets as she steps out of the pool. Well, shall we head back? Yeah, let's go before they find us. We leave the pool behind with our regrets. From the sounds of it, they don't regret much. I sure do, but they don't. It's the end of class and the room is now empty, with the exception of me waiting for Kokoro to complete her classroom duties. Just when it's time for her to return, a glimpse of Kokoro's face can be seen through a gap in the door. Sorry if you waited too long. Sure. Keep... kept me waiting. Sure kept me waiting. I guess you're right. Shall we go home? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You mind stopping by the supermarket for a bit? Sure. You buying something? I'll be making dinner at your house, okay? No. Eh? No. It's okay. Oh, you don't need to hold back. What did you have yesterday? Corner store bento. You can't do that. Itsumi is here too, you know. Who's Itsumi? The mentioned Itsumi would be my sister. Itchy Nose Itsumi. Okay, so it's a family of Itchy Noses. We're currently living by ourselves since our parents are away for a while. <laughs> How come in every single anime, like, ever, the parent is always just absent? And it's always just, like, kids living on their own all the time. But then, your cooking skills. I've been practicing. Besides, how long has it been since I've made dinner at your house? Since... 7th grade, I guess? You'll be surprised at how far I've progressed. Gogoro's face is beaming right now. There goes any chance of saying no. I can't tell the difference between her face beaming and her face just looking like she wants to eat my head after fornication. Okay, I look forward to it. Yeah, leave it to me. Wait, is the dinner gonna be my head? After fornication? Pardon the intrusion. I'm back. No replies. No one seems to be around. Looks like Itsumi's still out. Because of after school activities? Probably. Which club did she enter again? The track and field club. Oh, sounds like a tough time. She's gonna return home with an empty stomach. That's right. She always likes having cup noodles when she returns. Ugh. You can't do that, you know. Hmm? You're a growing boy. You need to eat properly. I said she ate cup noodles, not me. 
Well, it's only during my parents' absence. Nope, I'm preparing dinner from now on. Oh no, cliche rom-com opening. Well, that depends on your skills. Big words from you. Jeez. Better watch out. Yeah, yeah. Itsumi also needs to eat properly so that she doesn't suffer from mal malnutrition. Hey, cup noodles are very nutritious. They have little freeze-dried vegetables inside of them. Like you're getting all you're getting all your food groups, bro. Don't judge. Then she begins arranging all the groceries she bought on the, in the kitchen. By the way, what are you making? Since I was browsing magazines while Kokoro was grocery shopping, I don't know what she bought. Can't you see from everything I just laid out here? Potatoes, carrots, onions, curry roots. Nikujaga? I don't know how to pronounce that actually. Eh? Eh? You kidding? Eh? Not fancying Nikujaga? I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not sure. <laughs> situation is getting funny. My arm itches. Just kidding. You thought I was actually serious, didn't you? Yeah, it's a joke, right? Tell me it is. Oh, yes. Grace burns red with her irritation. I suppose I'm being rude, even if she is terrible at cooking. Jeez, it's curry, Chitaru. You like curry, don't you? Yeah, Itsumi likes curry too, so it's fine. That's good to hear. I'm gonna start. So just take it easy and wait, okay? Thank you. Boom! Vine boom effect. The kitchen explodes. Just why? I wonder why. Didn't you say you've been practicing? Yeah. I, I practice in chemistry class. This would be the second time you've destroyed my kitchen. It's alright. My kitchen once exploded 30 times in a month, and it's fine. That's not very reassuring. Are you angry, Ichitaru? Yes! No, just dumbfounded. Sorry. A huge hole has been opened in the kitchen wall. Through it, one can see a beautiful scenery, the outside world be beyond us. No, that's fine. Though having dinner here is not an option tonight. When does Itsumi usually come back? Usually she's back by now. Kathunk. A voice comes from the front door. I'm home! I swear to God, if she's not a human, and I am, the door bursts open. Fuck! Bro, listen, bro! Bro, bro! Hey, bro, listen, bro! Bro! Guess what, bro? I got the top score on the hurdle race today. Why am I a human? <laughs> Why am I a fucking human, dude? This is my sister, Itsumi, a ninth grader. She's currently in the track and field club, and as one can see, she's a petite yet cute little sister. No, no, stop. Saying that doesn't feel right as her brother, but she's quite popular with her friends in the track and field club. Alright, at least it addressed the weirdness of that sentence. Itsumi, long time no see. It's been a while. Well, I'm sorry for saying this, but the kitchen is... Eh? Fashionable! Coolies! The fuck? That's funny. Super funny. Sorry, it's Sumi. No dinner tonight. Not so funny now, huh, bitch? I'll go get some bento. The dinner ends between the three of us, and while I'm sitting around in the living room alone... You're gonna stay here tonight! Kokoro is apparently gonna stay here tonight. Suddenly, a glimpse of Itsumi's face can be seen from the doorway. Eh? You're fine with it, right? Sure, just do whatever you like. She lives literally right next door, and she could just fucking go, like, leave. Is she gonna watch me while I sleep or some weird shit? Yay, Kokoro, you're staying here for the night. The living door closes, and Itsumi's happy voice can be heard moving away. I see. So Kokoro is staying here tonight. I'm not sure if there's any choices in this novel, to be honest. But I haven't, we haven't seen any yet. Ichitaro, sorry about staying over for the night. No, I don't mind. Also, I have a request. What is it? Would you sleep together with me? No! I'm just gonna eat my head. <laughs> really can't help it, you little minx. What the fuck? Then, as thanks. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> I'll give you my first. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I want to die. Oh no, bro. I was going to sit and gag while it was on the screen, but I didn't want to leave it on there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apparently he was dreaming. What's wrong? <laughs> I'll be using your bathroom, okay? Sleeping with your eyes open? He's trying to keep a little he's trying to keep little nose down, dude. Well, whatever, I'll be using it. Hmm? I felt someone's presence just now. Looks like I was drowning in my own imagination. Not good. Not good. Gotta take a shower and cool my head down. She's in the bathroom! She just told Why am I feeling so weird? It used to be an everyday occurrence for Kokoro to stay over for the night. Yeah, that was before you started hitting puberty. This isn't the first... This isn't the time for weird fantasies. I gotta get a hold of myself. Yeah, imagine having fucking sex with a bug. I grab my change of clothes, heading towards the bathroom. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was the classic scene, boys. Eh? Uh, time stops for both of us. A few seconds pass as we stare at each other. This is... Y you're wrong. Y you see. Okay, what is it? Well, you see. Okay. So, you, you see. Nope, oh, there it is. Paka hentai! Wham! A fist slams into my face all of a sudden. It sends me flying all the way to the changing room. Idiot! Baka! You, you sussy baka, you! How low can you get? A thunk. The door closes and the corridor is filled with silence. Ouchie. While pressing down on my nose ridge, I feel something wet. Crap. Nose is bleeding. I get to the toilet soon after and cover my nose with toilet paper right before it Sumi barges in. What's wrong, bro? Eh? Your nose is bleeding? Don't drink my blood, please. Uh, yeah. Wait. How does her skirt not fall? How is it staying? I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be thankful, actually. In in fact, I'm just gonna be thankful. Are you okay? Did you did you knock yourself somewhere? No, I just got punched by Kokoro. By Kokoro? What did you do? It it was my fault. I saw Kokoro's booty. Haha, <laughs> bro's nosebleed is gushing like Old Faithful. Super duper funny. Just thinking of it is enough to make me even more blood gush out. You're laughing like you're like in fear of something. Having fun, are you? <laughs> you just wanted to take a peek anyways, right? It was just a coincidence. COINCIDENCE! Sure, sure. Some nice luck you have there. I like how the sister doesn't care that he was trying to- that he snuck a peek. She's just like, oh yeah, haha, <laughs> I bet you want to look at some nice, nice praying mantis bussy, huh? Doubting me, huh? After getting back to my room to calm down, a knock on the door follows and Kokoro enters. I heard from Itsumi. Is your nose alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Rather, I'm sorry for- I'm sorry. Eh? I'm supposed to be the one apologizing. No, no, I know you weren't doing it intentionally, and I ended up punching you. Well, that's in the past now. It even made your nose bleed. Are you injured? I'm so worried. I'm fine, I'm fine. It was the thought of her naked body that made my nose bleed, not her fist. But I can't tell her that. Really? Are you really okay? Yeah, I'm fine. And allow me to apologize. Hmm? Even if it's not intentional, I'm sorry about seeing you naked. I was imagining you naked beforehand, but actually seeing it is a whole different story. No, that's not really something we should be ashamed of. Not something we should feel ashamed of. I mean, we always bathed, to get bathed together when we were little. <laughs> That's totally different, you know. It's the same. It's not quite the same, but... Kokoro's expression suddenly changes into a gloomy one. What's wrong? 
No, nothing's wrong. Is that so? Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing. Good night. Okay, good night. She hurries out of the room. What was that earlier? Well, it's time for me to bathe and then sleep. Day 2, Tuesday, September 4th. Homeroom period. Bro, oh, his voice is amazing. <laughs> I love his voice, what the fuck? <laughs> Today's the submission deadline for your career prospect form. Those words sent off a buzzing in the classroom. Alright, alright, be quiet, okay? That's all the sheets collected. Soon after, he puts me in his sights. Itchy nose. You're the only student left. Eh? You're kidding. Everyone already handed one in? That's right. Heading straight into my seat, my teacher puts the form down in front of me. Ah, hey. I'm correct in guessing that the form is not with you today, yes? Without hesitation, he looms over me. Smelling like fried bacon and death. Get this filled out and hand it to me by the end of today. Today? Sure? That's right. Okay, I got it. No. No half-hearted answers from you, okay? Uh... What a pain in the ass, kid. I'll extend the deadline by a week then. Okay. Lunch break. It makes me sigh just looking at it. The career prospect form I've been holding on to. What are you what are you asking me to do, really? I'm only 18. It's kind of impossible to ask a young guy like me to suddenly make decisions about my future and prospects. What do I want to do? My dad's my dad uh, my days as a young kid were better. You can make parents and teachers happy just by saying things like being a pilot or a soccer player. Further studies or work. Why would why would they make me choose when I don't even have anything in particular in mind? I I wish I had four years at university to think about my future. Though, that's going to be impossible with my current grades, even if I want it. Entering a university would still mean I have to decide on a major. My choices will shrink even further once that's decided. What a shitty system. What is? A voice calls out to me from nowhere. I spin around, startled, to see only Kokoro. Of course. Jeez, I've been looking for you. I was thinking we could do lunch. Sorry, I'm, I'm not really in the mood right now. What's wrong? I'm just disgusted with the Japanese system here. About your advancement? Yeah, do you have anything you want to do? Things I want to do. Like your future dreams. I'm not really thinking of anything. Not thinking of anything, you say. I'm impressed that you've made your decisions here. It's Chitaru. You're just overthinking it. Really? I'm fine with anything as long as I'm in Tokyo U's science department. So it's a simple decision, you know? So what are you gonna do if you have to if you have a change of heart and want to take like literature courses instead? Well, if that happens, I'll just change my course. Isn't that good enough? That's it. Wouldn't all your previous previous efforts be a waste then? That definitely won't happen. Why? It'd be lagging behind students who came from liberal arts. And in return, I'll gain different experiences compared to those students that they'll never have, you know? To me, it's a gain. Any experience will eventually be helpful, regardless of place or circumstances. How old are you? I'm 18. That's obvious. <laughs> but deciding to go to Tokyo U on a whim, if only I was academically capable. Well, Dad insisted on Tokyo U and will not accept alternatives, although he's fine with me choosing which courses to take. You sure had it hard, too, but since it's you, I suppose you'll make it. Ichiru. You... you know you can do this, too. I told you, that's impossible. I want to go to the same university as you, Ichitaru. Well, I guess it'd be nice if I just went for it as well. Really? Everything will be easier if you're here. <laughs> Baka. I wonder if you could teach this idiot in just six months. Enough room to pass the Tokyo U entrance exam. Did I teach you then? We've been together up until now, you know. Come on, let's aim for the same university together, okay? It's nice that she's trying to bring him up when he's down. I get it. I'll try my best. Really? But I'm telling you, you're dealing with an idiot here. That's alright. 
It's exhausting, you know. It'll take your study time away, you know. Teaching you is study time for me as well. I'll try my best. Yeah. The day quickly fades into evening. Kokoro is trying to teach the mathematics in a classroom long since empty of students. That's why, if you do it this way, it'll turn into this. Hmm. Mm. And after this, you're done. I see. So, let's give this question a try? Okay. Eh. Uh, I've been trying to solve the problem according to Kokoro's method, but somehow I can't get it right. Uh, this. It'll be easier to understand if you check out this part. Oh, I see. Done. There you go. You can do it if you try. All well, thanks to you. I just gave a little support. Feels so good solving just one question. This this is unbelievable. I know, right? There's a sense of achievement in it. No, not really. Anyways, how about we focus on solving all the basic questions on this page? Yeah. Let's keep it up and work hard tomorrow, too. Yeah, I'm counting on you. You can always count on me. Are you sure you're fine with this? With what? You'll have your own review to do at home after teaching me, right? That's because Ichitaru is doing his best. That motivates me to do better as well. So corny. Let's see. In exchange, you'll do review when you get home, okay? Yeah, yeah, I got you. We're gonna get it. We're gonna go over it carefully tomorrow. Looks like you're having fun. Huh. You think so? A little. You see, it feels like I'm being a Chitaro's private tutor here. It's so fun. Private tutor? It's not like we're doing this at home. We should do it at home during the coming holiday then. I guess. I don't mind. That settles it. That day went a lot quicker than the first day. Since today is a public holiday, I've been studying at home all morning. Ugh. Taking a break and looking at the clock, it's already half past ten. It's been thirty minutes since I started burying myself in my studies. Thirty minutes? When was the last time I actually spent time studying? This might even be my first the first time in my life. That's all thanks to Kokoro's help, too. Kokoro did mention that she's going to help me study from the afternoon onwards, followed by a mini-test as well. And if I obtain good marks, who knows, I might even get a nice reward. A reward. No, 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 do not show the image. No, no. Suddenly the door opens, and Itsumi enters. Itsumi kind of like, uh... Oh no, was he jacking off? No, please say no. This is what I get from you from barging in like that? See, just when I thought it was a rare sight for you to actually study. Oh. I saw you grinning while staring at your textbook. Are you out of your mind? She's saying gross because he was studying. Never mind. Uh, gotta agree that I'm a weirdo for from bystander's perspective. Don't tell me you're having so much fun with your studies that you can't help it. Do I have a boner or something? I'm confused. Of course, it's so fun. It's painful. This is nothing but self-torture, but I have no choice but to go on. Wow, how annoying. My brother's getting really deep. It's using this phrasing on purpose. It has to be. Probably wondering why I fell quiet all of a sudden, she glances sidelong at my face. What's wrong? You see, even if you're my younger sister, it still hurts to be called annoying or gross. It breaks my heart. It breaks your heart, eh? You actually hurt from this? That doesn't suit you. Indeed. Damn. You used to be much more polite and cute. Really? Since when? I wouldn't call that cute exactly. During our elementary days, you kept crawling all over my back all the time. If you say so, bro. Bro? Didn't you? Hmm? Is there something wrong? You, you used to hug me when sleeping. My god, please stop. For some reason, Itsumi's face turned red. Oh no, not, no, 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 we don't need this arc. This arc can just be skipped completely, we don't need that. What's wrong? Nothing. So then, why were you smiling? Her previously flustered expression changes suddenly, and a provocative smile floats up. The reason you smirked. Oh, that's right. It's that. Oh, that's right. That. Because Kokoro will be here starting this afternoon. Y you're wrong. Bro? You stutter too much. 
She sighs in frustration. You really suck at lying. But that's because you're my sister. It's just obvious to you when we live together. So you think you can deceive people well enough? Yeah. What a pitiful excuse for a brother. I wish I knew what exactly is pitiful about me. She simply ignores my remark and continues. So, since Kokoro is here, will both of you go lovey-dovey, hug, kiss, smooching around? <sighs> That's shameless. What is shameless? Don't say such perverted things. Aw, oh, he's getting flustered. How cute. Well, whatever. But you're looking forward to do those perverted things, am I right? <laughs> well, I'm a guy, you see. No, don't admit to it. Ew. So you are looking forward to it? She, s she then smirks at me as if implying something. But you got a problem with that? Not really. If you say so, just help. Nope. Too bad. You aren't getting my help that easily. Just help me sleep with this other, with this bug lady, okay? Okay, little sister. Bro, even in even in like normal context, that'd be weird. Hey, small sister, help me sleep with help me sleep with that girl. But what? I stare at Itsumi, dumbfounded, as she actually scowls at me. That's super funny. What's with that face? Really? You got a horribly stupid look. Why you? Suit yourself. Your face is a thousand times worse. Wow, creep. How dare you talk to about a girl like that? Oh, double standards, I see. Indeed. Now she puts on an expression like her heart is shattered into a million pieces. Eh? Uh, you're wrong. I said that your face was terrible, and then... Usually you're really cute, okay? Oh, come on, don't back down. Just be like, yeah, ugly bitch, like, fucking. <laughs> Even though I know it's just an act, getting riled up and defensive makes me feel pathetic. And then, her face suddenly cracks into laughter again. That's funny. Why are you trying so desperately to please your sister? You. Why don't you just tell Kokoro that she's cute? Kokoro? I did. I bet you're thinking you're just joking. Tell her sincerely. Say it like, you're really, really cute. Y yeah, yeah, wait. Why are you here again? Oh, now I remember. What should we have for lunch? I'll be doing some shopping if we're having it here. Lunch, eh? I love fried rice with miso soup. Okay, well, I'll get moving. So, that's it? Have a safe trip. Steaming fried rice and miso soup are in front of me, indeed. Any rice dish without miso soup is not complete. Let's dig in. Yes, let's eat. Taking a sip of miso soup and then digging up a spoonful of fried rice. Hmm. Did you change the seasoning? One scoop makes it obvious. Somehow it's much more aromatic and delicious than usual. <laughs> you knew? Yeah, the flavor is different. I don't know why, but it's delicious. I added consomme? Oh, I see, I see. Anyways, bro? Hmm? Why did you start studying all of a sudden? Wow, are we still on that? Are you sure you want to be shocked? Shocked? Do you think I'm easily surprised? I'm taking the entrance exam to Tokyo U. This is an unenthusiastic, like, shocked noise. <laughs> Itsumi jumps so high in surprise, she ends up bumping her head. Wait, if she jumps, does that mean she fell onto the floor? You surprised me. And why Tokyo you? Do you think you can make it? Kokoro wants us both to go together. Eh? That's the reason? Do I laugh? Should I laugh? I have to try and stop my sister from asking any more important questions. I'll take a stab at her remarks. <laughs> laugh all you want. But the person to have the last laugh shall be me. <laughs> That's funny. What's with that smug expression? Your mom got him. Yes, yes, satisfied. Now then, lunch is done and my room has to be cleaned before Kokoro comes. You? Is the cleaning? That's rare. Even when she lets loose with a side-spitting laugh, it's full of sarcasm. Come on. Even I keep things clean. Bed making? Bed making? And bed making? Why are you fixated on bed making? <laughs> I wonder why. Bro, little sister's a perv, man. Then she heads into the kitchen, leaving her words behind. Jeez, what's with her? Okay then. Time to get moving and make the bed. After carefully smoothing out the covers, I hear the doorbell ring. 
Instantly, I can hear Itsumi's voice calling. Bro! Kokoro is here. Okay. At least she's not calling me Oni-chan. By the time I get downstairs, Kokoro is already in the living room. Good afternoon, Mr. Icharu. Huh? I'm your private tutor, Kokoro Kokonoe. I'll be overseeing your studies from today onwards, Mr. Ichitaru. Huh? What is this? Is she live action role playing? What is your best subject? Ichitaru is good at writing Japanese. You'd best give him a computer or a word processor and he'll be set. Wham! I smack Itsumi in the head without holding back. That hurts! What do you think you're doing, bro? She glares at me with reproachful eyes while rubbing her head. We're going, to, we're going to study now, so would you kindly leave? Okay. Itsumi hesitates before answering, then leaves. Uh, shall we begin studying? Yeah, I'm counting on you, Miss Kokoro. Feels really bad just now. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, let's get to the second floor. Jeez. The day quickly turns into evening. We study each subject, periodically pausing for small tests prepared by Kokoro, along with her tutorials. I have to see this guy's parents? That's what I'm saying, dude. Time passes quickly as we study hard. Though we only cover the basics, there is a feeling of satisfaction to it. Ugh. People say the basics are important when doing math, but it looks like it still isn't easy. You're right. But if we get the basics down, we can at least put them to use. I wonder if that's the case. Mr. since we, you've gotten the hang of the basics, let's get to the application tomorrow. Oh. And then it's going to be review all night. Yeah, that's the spirit. It flashes a brilliant smile. How can you tell when she's smiling? With a gutsy pose. Those actions strangely mellow me out. Kokoro, how's your dinner for tonight? Mom's going to a family restaurant tonight. Oh? Do you want me to make dinner then? Are you going to destroy the kitchen again? That's mean. It won't happen because I already did it this afternoon. This afternoon, you say? Yeah, I tried to make lunch for my mom and then boom, vine boom. Even though I've destroyed many kitchens, it's impossible for me to destroy them twice in a day. That makes zero sense. She says that while sticking out her chest. Her chest. Oh no, boobies! I can't help but stare at them. That voluptuous, soft looking pair of melons. <coughs> uh, bro, come on! The subtlety exists to this man? Chitaru? Uh, uh -huh, sorry, I spaced out a bit. This is dangerous, but it looks like she hasn't realized where I was staring. Since we're gonna have dinner at the family restaurant in the shopping arcade, how about we have some fun till the meetup? Family restaurant at the shopping arcade? You mean bust? <laughs> Why is this game so sus? Yeah, bust. We're gonna meet up with my mom in front of bust at 7. It gives us about two hours of fun before I bust. <laughs> You're right, let's have fun before you go bust. <laughs> it's important to take a break, too. It takes less than a second for us to clean our textbooks and notes. Quickly, we get ourselves together and leave the room. Eh? You two heading somewhere? Yeah, we'll be back before dinner is ready. We're gonna go quickly go to bust. Yeah, I'll be looking... I'll be good and look after things, so have fun on your date. Yeah. Looks like Kokoro wavered more than I did. Her mouth stiffens as she speaks up. The date? It said she spoke and then I spoke. That was weird. That's right. Such a wonderful date, so enjoy. With the path colored by the evening skies, both of us walk to the shopping center to go bust. Somehow, Itsumi's words from before we left kept running around in my head, and it's getting under my skin. Date. <laughs> Kokoro star st starts in response. Looks like both of us were thinking the same thing. Anyways, let's just have some fun, yeah? Before we go to bust. Wow, this is cute. Once we wandered around the shopping arcade, that awkward feeling we had starts to dissipate. Hmm? Which one? Here, the small thing! Kokoro is pointing at the cicada figurine in the general store's display window. It's a truly detailed figurine. It almost seems real. Even the legs. It, 
Is this cute? Yeah, it's cute. Not your taste? Eh, uh, well, ain't that cute? I know, right? I've been wondering, is a girl's perception of cute totally different from a boy's? No, I think it's the whole she's a fucking insect thing. I think that's, that's why her description of cute is warped. What to do? Should I buy it? I suppose boys wouldn't think of this cicada figurine as cute. It's often said that girls think of these as grossly cute, or even annoyingly cute. But I don't get it at all. Point is, it's gross, and annoying too, right? According to one theory, anyone who thought of anything and everything as cute would think of themselves as the cutest, or something along those lines, while thinking about how impossible it is to understand a girl's tastes. I take a closer look at the cicada. Oh, it's real! Wow! The wings start to move, and the cicada cries. Cicada-shaped alarm clock can be seen on the product tag. Oh, that would make more sense. How annoying. It's definitely not a pleasant wake-up call. Bro, imagine just hearing a giant fucking cicada screeching at you every morning. <laughs> Pass. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this, please. Huh. Kokoro turns to face the inside of the shop and call for an employee, and I start to doubt her sanity. Kokoro, don't tell me. You, you're getting this? Of course. I'm thinking of giving it to my mom as a present. Really, now? I really don't think it'll... I'll ever understand a girl's preferences. How about getting one for you as well, Ichitaru? No, I'll pass. <laughs> Kogoro is humming and walking, holding the bag with the precious cicada thingy tightly to herself. You sure sound happy. Yeah, I bought something good. Hey, where should we go next? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, that's right. What about a visit to the furniture shop? Furniture? Yeah, you'll be living alone once you get to university, right? It's fun to imagine the interior of your room while looking at the furniture. I see. Yeah, it could be fun. Well then, let's start with the shop. Going to a furniture shop is like meeting a stranger. So, wandering around the shop itself is new to me. It's not like... that's such a weird comparison. It's not just tables or beds arranged in rows. There are even few showrooms, like many booths available for browsing. At this one corner of the showroom, I seat myself on the sofa while Kokoro stands in the kitchen. We'll have steak for tonight's dinner. It, yeah. He's starting to play house right away. That's so weird, dude. I'll be done real soon. Go watch some TV while I get dinner ready. As she says that, she proceeds to pretend like she's chopping rhythmic, rhythmically. Rhythmically. Ugh. As she says that, she proceeds to pretend she's chopping rhythmically with a kitchen knife. Meanwhile, I pretend to stare at a dummy TV while holding the remote control. Any interesting shows on right now? Let's see. Uh, nothing but news. What kind of news? Explosions happening at someone's house, someone's house kitchen. <laughs> I wonder where. She pretends she's completely unrelated to it, so she just smiles and ignores it. Rather, hold up, what's this? Hmm? It's a setting where Ichitaru came to my apartment and both of us are having dinner together. I see, but here, Kokoro. What is it? I find two things strange about this situation. Huh? First of all, having steak while living alone? Impossible. And secondly, the kitchen did not explode. Jeez, shatter my dreams. <laughs> Savage, bro. Why did he simp for his sister and then he's like savage towards this girl? It's got weird vibes from this Ichitaru guy, dude. It's not that, but we're adults. We should play house realistically. Realistically? How? Adults don't play house. Well, let's switch places for a bit. Okay. I have Kokoro sit on the sofa while I stand somewhere in the kitchen. You must be tired from your part-time job. Here. Dinner's going to be ready soon. Sure, what's for dinner today? It's a popo ichiba miso ramen. You like it, don't you? Eh. You'll have limitless seed weave for today. How's that? Are you happy? Jeez. Can't help it, Kokoro. Here, the best one. How about one whole egg for the topping? Exciting, right? No, it's just full of disappointments. He's making like weeb stew and she's over there like, I just want a fucking steak, bro. Or some, or, or an ex-lover's head, one of the two. 
She keeps staring at me in dissatisfaction. <laughs> then I'll have to master cooking before I start living alone. I wonder how much it would take to destroy the kitchen here. Don't try it, please. We look around at lighting and chairs afterwards, though we quickly leave once we spot the clocks on sale reading 6.55 p.m. See you tomorrow, then. Yeah, at school. That was fun. I want to look around even more next time. Sure. I'll look forward to it. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. Yeah, see you. She leaves the place with a smile while waving at me, and I head out soon after. So, you've been having Kogoro give you private lessons lately. Yeah? So you finally are up for it. Somehow, I guess. And where are you going to? Tokyo you? What? Are you for real? It is. I'm serious. Kokoro has been giving me lessons just for that. Kokoro is doing her best too, huh? And I have to work hard so that our efforts won't go to waste. Since you're aiming for Tokyo you with me, I'm behind you as well. So... Can I ask you for pointers from time to time? Um... I suck at teaching others, so I'm gonna pass. Wait, really? You see, it's because I'm a genius. Huh? If I was just a great all-around person, I could teach you as well, but geniuses are pretty much self-sufficient. Nope, sorry, I don't get you at all. It, yeah, sometimes geniuses just have their own way of thinking, and it doesn't really correlate well into teaching others how to think the way they think, because it just works in their head. It does. It, they don't need to, like... I don't know what I'm getting at. Anyways. Well, that's that. Okay, no choice. This isn't fair to Kokoro, but I guess I'll have to- I guess I'll have her drill it into me. Yes, have the praying mantis lady drill it into you. Drill. Drill. Go for it. Kokoro- yeah, Kokoro will be happier that way anyways. I wonder about that. However, you better not depend on her too much. Huh? It's Tokyo Yu, you know. I don't know if Kokoro's current result can even make it. Barely or otherwise. I get that it's Japan's hardest to enter university, but is it extremely so? Apparently. Even for Kokoro, who is the top student in this class? Well, I'll cheer you on. Yeah. Thanks. And just like that, it's evening. Got it? No. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? Yeah. There's a lot. No, it's more like I don't get anything at all. I've been going over my work since last night, but I can't solve today's questions at all. Why? The same question as the one I did yesterday. Similar question? No. The test here is written as a practical question. My pen can't do anything uh, the moment the question become word problems like these. Damn it. I keep scratching my head. Sorry, I, I didn't get it at all. Okay, let me borrow this for a moment. All right. For this, you do this here, and when you do, then it becomes this. Can you try to? Can you try the next question? I'll try. Okay, let me know if you're stuck. I try getting into it. Sorry, I don't know how I should start with the question. Hmm? For this part, she smoothly writes down all the formulas while explaining it in thorough detail. But none of this actually enters my head. No. I definitely heard it, but it flew out the other ear as fast as it came in. I don't understand these applications, and I don't think I can do them even if I know the basics. Suddenly, Masato's words come across my mind. I don't know if Kokoro's current result can even make it, barely or otherwise. Kokoro's results are godlike next to mine, and I, still stumbling over the basics, am aiming for the same university as Kokoro. Even if Kokoro is struggling, putting so much effort into teaching someone like me, isn't it obvious that she doesn't actually have time for me? No, not about Kokoro this or Kokoro that. Me? Tokyo you? Time to snap out of this dream. It's already been a week. Gotta stop dreaming. Yeah, I knew it was impossible. Huh? Don't you see? This question is basically the same as the one we did yesterday, right? Just a little change and this happens. You can definitely solve it if you keep practicing. Maybe we can get back to the basics and try harder? The basics? I've done all that. Till I rot. 
And I still don't get it. Sorry. Starting to hate myself for getting irritated and lashing out at Kokoro. Let's take a break. I'll go get some juice. She rushes out right after. Just, what am I doing, really? An idiot like me is definitely not making it into Tokyo U in just six months. I knew it. All of it. Yet, I'm involving Kokoro in this and making her worry about me. Let's stop this. I quickly close my reference book. I put my mechanical pencil back into its box. The box goes back into its bag. What are you doing? Ah, Kokoro, welcome back. No, not welcome back. We'll keep this up after this juice break, right? You see, Kokoro. No! Her voice is loud and sharp enough to cut me off. Almost as sharp as her razor sharp uh, hand thingies that praying mantises have. Actually, I don't even know if she's really a praying mantis, but like, <laughs> I'm assuming. Here, I got you some juice, so let's do our best. Listen to me, Kokoro. I don't want to hear it. I already quit. Why? We're just getting started, aren't we? Because I'm a quitter. It's what we do. All right? You see, it's not that I think this is entirely useless, but continuing this will just end up disturbing your exam studies. I don't think so. I told you. Teaching you is part of my study time, too, didn't I? The basics of basics is not really something you need to be reviewing for Tokyo U's entrance, entrance exam, is it? No, that's not true. If you fail the exam, it will definitely be my fault. I don't think that way. How could it be your fault? It'll just make me feel responsible. I'll make it. I'll definitely make it. Just you see. I'm, I'm sure you can. Okay, I dig it back. God. I'm sorry. Your lessons were a great help for the past few days. Why are you trying to end our conversation here? I'll just think of my own prospects in my own way. You idiot, ba you baka. Oh god, her eyes turned red and she's mad. The juice can comes flying at me in a beautiful parabola. I do nothing to avoid it. A dull pain develops on my head. I'm going back now. I'm back. Hello, bat sister. My sister scrambles to the front door to welcome me. I'm making dinner today. A real dinner. I see. Thank you. Huh? Bro, you don't sound too good. <laughs> hey, bro. You don't sound too good, bro. No. No such thing, okay? You lie. No, I don't. Something happened with Kokoro, am I right, bro? What? Do you think I wouldn't figure it out? I can only nod solemnly at Itsumi's cat-like smile. Bat cat, rat. Haha, <laughs> bars, dude. Fucking bars, dude. Since way back when, whenever something happened to Kokoro, you always get in a sour mood. As expected from my sister. So, both of you had a fight or something? Yep. And bro was the one at fault here, right? Yep. Baka. What was the reason? Kokoro wants me to aim for Tokyo U with her, and I thought I'd just ride along. Yeah, and you started studying with her since then, and for some reason you just gave up and came back. You're amazing. That is indeed the case. We've had this conversation before, so... Bro? Do you seriously think you can enter Tokyo U? No. I thought so, but... Uh, I guess that's Kokoro for you. Huh? What do you mean? Such an idiot can't make it into Tokyo U. Well, you're right, but that still hurts, you know. Anyways, let's eat. You'll feel better after eating. Yeah, thank you. Woo! Day 5, Tuesday, September 11. Just get a grip and wake up already! Suddenly, a high-pitched voice pierces my dream. I bolt upright soon after. Kokoro? What? Don't look at me as if you've seen a ghost. Not that, I mean... We had a fight yesterday. This is this, and that is that. Come on, we're gonna be late. Y yeah. I crawl out of bed as Kokoro keeps urging me and proceeds to change. Agg! Huh? What's wrong? Oh, what's wrong here? Uh, y y yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's not a laughing matter, jeez. Morning wood? Oh no, we're definitely gonna be- We're definitely going to be late today. My bad, my bad. I'd be responsible if I get scolded, okay? So we just have to run to avoid it. It's a race to school then. Kokoro, wait for me. Look, humans can run faster than praying mantai, okay? 
I'll be fine. Gokuro then sprints ahead. Somehow I breathe a sigh of relief and start chasing after her. Yay! Haha, <laughs> haha. Did we make it? Huh. Are you okay? Yeah, mostly. Ugh. I'm all run out. Yeah, and I'm thirsty. Thirsty! I take my water bottle out of my bag and offer her some. Glug, 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 glug. She starts to drink, her throat subtly pulsing with every gulp of water. Ugh. Oh, don't describe it that way, that's weird. Somehow, this sight fascinates me. And then the bell rings, blessing us with the knowledge that we barely made it to school on time. Ring, ring. Ah, oh, the teacher's coming. We gotta get back to our seats. Yeah. Oh no, the teacher didn't actually arrive. Dude, he had no dialogues. He had no dialogues at all. School is over for today. In the end, Kokoro and I talk like nothing happened during yesterday's incident. Though I'm fairly puzzled, I feel relieved that everything remains the same with Kokoro. Well, not completely. Two things are different from usual. First, she didn't invite me out for lunch during break. Second, I'm currently leaving school alone. Usually Kokoro would call me up and we'd walk back home together. Suddenly, as I turn my back, Masato is behind me. We need to talk. Hmm? Sure, but what's wrong? It's alright, just come with me. What is this? You sound hostile here. That's my intention. What do you mean? Sato keeps quiet after that, heading off without saying a word. Uh oh, he's gonna kick my ass. With no choice, I follow. He's like a demon like thing, dude. Like, he's gonna kick my ass easily. Like, th th this Ichitaru guy seems like kind of a soy boy, so like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get my ass beat. Reaching a park, Masato heads to the center and then turns around slowly. Naturally, the both of us end up facing each other. You just made Kokoro cry, huh? Made her cry? Me? That's right, I heard everything from Kokoro today. Do you have a single clue? So, something happened. Yeah. How dare you spit on her kindness? Spit? I did no such thing. You went ahead and said you'll aim for Taikyo Yu, and then you used Kokoro to get her spirits up and squeezed out the... Squeezed out her best in tutoring you, right? She's the one who asked me to do it. But you made the decision. If you aren't confident, why didn't you just reject her from the start? Because he felt bad! Gradually, we step closer to each other. By the time we stop, we're close enough to feel each other's breath. That... Oh, dude. Fuck off. <laughs> Your narcissistic thinking. That's what hurts Kokoro. His voice is so angry. I feel like it's going to burst my eardrums. I know that, but... No, you don't. Look at how you were today. You must have been so happy nothing changed between you and Kokoro, am I wrong? Yeah, all of it. Trying to make everything fit in your convenient ideas. You have no idea how hard Kokoro has been working for you. Um, awkward. Never said anything about trying my best here. Huh. You trash. Why do you think I'm gonna stand here and take that? You're the one who acts all like a spoiled brat around Kokoro every time. Not spoiled. Be fine. Even if she's not around anymore. Really? Do you really think so? When is he gonna start kicking my ass? Yeah, so this conversation ends here. Don't fucking act tough if you truly like her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is. Uh. Oh, ooh. Ooh, he's a scary looking motherfucker, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Damn. Suddenly, he grabs my lapel. He's so strong, I can feel my shirt collar tightening. If I like her. Is my mouth like gaping open or am I bleeding? I can't really tell. At first I can't grasp what he's trying to say. You wanna fuck the bug bitch or what? Do I have feelings for Kokoro? Is that what you're trying to say? That's right, don't pretend you don't. But I don't. What do I really think of Kokoro? As a normal friend? Do I like her? Or... If I have to answer now, what I really think of Kokoro? Oh, a decision! Boys! Boys. Obviously, the best ending is going to be the I like her ending. But we're not going to do that first. 
you know what we gotta do first. She's gross. I don't like her. I hate her. Rather, it's the opposite. Yakuda. The opposite? I hate that bitch. Chinigone. Disgusting. He throws me aside like a used up trash. That hurts. Hear that? He hates you. Sato calls out while facing my back. Huh? Someone there? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I I'm gonna get cut the fuck up, bro. Wait, if I would have said yes and they would have fornicated, then she would have chopped my head off and ate it or something, right? Because that's what, like, mantises do? We might have dodged a bullet, dude. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, girl. Why are you here? Kiki, kiki, kiki. What? What is that fucking noise, dude? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> is she molting? I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Stop molting. Swoosh. I get my head chopped off. Eh? Suddenly, my chest starts to heat up like it's burning. Just as I'm trying to get a hold of my situation, I look at my chest. What lies before me is an unbelievable sight. Kokoro's arms pierce through the center of my body. She killed me. Wow. She freaked out and murdered me. Something is removed from my body. No, it's coming in. I don't know. She's not impregnating me or some weird shit, is she? I don't know. Game over. Yep, I got murdered. Wow. Okay. I kind of felt like that was going to be the outcome from that, like a little bit, but at the same time, like, I wasn't expecting her to just murder me on the spot. She's just a normal friend. She's just an ordinary friend. Normal. What's normal? <laughs> the fist holding my lapel suddenly tightens as he strengthens his grip. My collar creaks around my neck. I can't breathe properly since it feels like my shirt is strangling me. <laughs> Just how much of a shitty bastard are you? Get away, Masato. Can't hear you. It hurts. What now? Just spit it out if you want to say something. <laughs> Crack! Did I die again? I think I might have just died again. What the fuck? Talk about getting railroaded, dude. Bruh. Come on, man. Whatever, at least the bug girl didn't fucking flip her shit and stab me to death this time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I like her. Fine, I'll admit to it. Well, of course I like her. We've been together up until now. It's obvious that I like her. Yeah. Then why are you, aren't you aiming for Tokyo You? There's no way I'm going to make it. I can't get Kokoro involved. Don't you get it? So, long distance relationship? It can't be helped. Not just Tokyo U. I don't think any university will accept my current results. So you'll distance yourself. I'll let her know properly before she gets to Tokyo. By then, if she's okay with it, even with the long distance relationship, I'll somehow make trips to meet her once in a while. Long distance is pointless. It's obvious that she'll be taken by other guys. What? She's a cutie. <laughs> it's obvious any guy would make a move on her. No girl's not that loose. Then, what about me? What? I'm going to Tokyo U with Kokoro. Wait, don't tell me you like Kokoro. No, she's not really my type. But even if she's not, a girl like her, it's worth it even if I get... No, she's not really my type. But even if she's not, a girl like her, it's worth it if I get my way with her. Don't fuck with me. My mind clouds with anger as I kick him right in the gut. You, that hurts! You bastard! Bam! Ugh. A quick straight punch by Masato lands a clean hit on my left cheek. What do you think you're doing, you piece of shit? I like how he's like acting like the good guy and then in the I like her ending, he's just like, yeah, by the way, I'm a dickhead. I'm gonna fuck your girlfriend, bitch. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's kind of a, like, he, he's like, the a weird fine line between a Chad and just some simp. The exact same swing, but this time, from a hard right. 
Don't get ahead of yourself. Masato screams with rage as he delivers a series of rapid punches to my body. Womp! And my stomach takes every last one. Man. What is that Piccolo on Team 4 Star always yelled? Fucking dodge? How dare you! I straighten my stance and release another kick right after. <laughs> Would you just shut up already, Baldy? Is my character bald? No, my character's not bald. Baldy. Ugh. Shut up. You're the Baldy. Ugh, true. He is the Baldy. Look at that. Look at his head. Go to hell, you trash. A pow. You're the one going to hell. Yeah, you are the demon looking thing. I'll kill you, you bastard. Crack. Bam. Whoop. Bash. Pow. After taking hit after hit and countering his attacks, my body eventually loses its balance, and Masato doesn't let that chance slip. That fist descends from overhead. Bam. Ooh, that one's. Bro, he literally made a crater. He yomchid me. Are we going to be best friends now? <laughs> Before I know it, both of us are laid out on the ground at full length, not even registering that we're covered in mud. You're good. Same to you. <laughs> yep, we're, we're buddies now. <laughs> yep, we, uh, we made each other up and now we're friends. Both of us laugh until we run out of breath. It's strangely refreshing. I feel calm now, thanks to you. What? Really? Hey, Masato. What now, my friend? Let me tell you this. Huh? Don't you dare lay a finger on Kokoro. I'll definitely kill you. <laughs> no way am I touching that ugly monster, bitch. <laughs> God damn! Don't even joke. I'll get mad, get it? My bad, my bad. Anyways, mind if I say something? Hmm? You should aim for Tokyo. I told you I'm not. Let me tell you, any woman in your reach will run away if your undying devotion ever wavers. Undying devotion? Alright, he stopped being a, he stopped being a chat again. If you don't want her to be taken away by other guys, you'll have to work for it. But to me, Tokyo U. I'm not asking you to get into Tokyo U. I'm asking you to get to Tokyo. Huh? Just keep studying and give it your all. You'll definitely land a university somewhere. Even me? You'll be fine. Still, there's nothing for me to do even if I get there. Just get, a, just get into a random university, get a job in any industry, and grab the best wife you can ever get. Wouldn't that work for you? That... That is a nice dream. Don't you think that's enough for your dream? Ugh. Don't you think that's enough for your dreams of the future now? Yeah. Sato, you are indeed a genius. What are you talking about? Isn't that obvious? I'm gonna take a step forward and kickstart my dream now. Yeah, get going. Thank you, Masato. Right. Just as I leave, Masato calls out to me as if remembering something. Hey. What? Good luck. Good luck. I have no idea where she is, but I run anyways. Kokoro. She hasn't reached home yet. The final place I arrive is at the school. Found you. Single girl is visible, standing under the sunset sky. That's so corny, dude. That girl stays still, looking down from the top of the school roof. Kokoro. I'll be there soon. The rooftop. Oh, wait. Rooftop romance scene. This is corny as shit. Oh my god. <laughs> An empty school. The only sound is the echo of my footsteps as I run up the stairs. Clink, 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 clink. I keep running, aiming right for the rooftop. <laughs> the roof door bursts open. The brightly setting sun is burning into my eyes, but I ignore it and move my gaze around. There. I run up to her the moment I find the person I've been looking for. Kokoro! It'd be funny if it was like someone else completely. <laughs> like, just a random ass fucking person. Kokoro! And then she turns around and she's like, Yeah, honey, what is it? Like, <laughs> I've been looking for you. <laughs> Such a hurry. Are you okay? You need a drink? No, I'm fine. So, if I say I hate her, then she's just there conveniently. 
if I say she's just a friend, then she's there and I get killed by somebody else. And if I say that I like her, then I get my ass beat by my friend and we become better friends, and then I go find her. The fuck, man. The fuck. More reasons to stay single, boys. More reasons to stay single. Pure and simple. I catch my breath as I stare right at Kokoro. Um, you know Kokoro. What's wrong with Chitaru? You're acting funny. Listen to me. Yes? You see? Yeah? Say it, Chitaru. Spit it out! Well... I hesitate. Just as I'm about to speak. Nice job, Ichitaru. My helplessly cowardly brain is suddenly consumed by a single thought. What does Kokoro think of me? I don't know. I certainly have felt kindness from her, considering her passionate support of me. It's hard to imagine she dislikes me. Where does it come from? Is it just because we're childhood friends? Does she see me as a lover? <laughs> a person like me? Impossible. 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 No. What am I talking about? I don't even have the slightest idea of what Kokoro thinks of me. But I can't proceed without at least telling her my feelings. It's stupid to think that I'm confessing just because I know that she likes me. Doesn't like me. Oh. I'm confessing because... I have no idea whether Kokoro likes me or not. Even if I don't know whether it's a win or a loss, I have to keep going. This is a man's way of living. I like you. Woo -woo -woo. Gasp. Somehow I feel like the world is standing still. Bro, they, they, <laughs> fucking high schoolers, dude. They put so much, like, effort into this shit. <laughs> Fuck that. But the evening clouds calmly drift by, and the bustling street can be heard far away. Really? You mean, like, the like kind of like? The like kind of like, yeah. I have something to tell you, will you hear me out? Yeah. You know that I was fussing over having no idea what to do with my life, and I couldn't decide on my future, right? Yeah? I found it. The thing I want to do. <laughs> I want to do you, baby. <laughs> No, my dream for the future. Please tell me. Poker, I'll make you my... <laughs> no. <clears throat> That's my dream. I'm going to be aiming for the Tokyo Universities, so that I'll never have to let you go. Really? For real? Yeah. Entering Tokyo U is impossible, but I can at least study hard enough to land somewhere nearby. Yeah, I believe you can make it. Even without going to the same university, we can still live our lives together and stay near each other. And I can't bear the thought of having you taken away by another guy without my knowledge, so... Kokoro, please go out with me. Love you too! Whoa, 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 I never dropped that bomb, bro. I never... Calm down, you're... You're going a little too fast here, bro. I've only known you my entire life. You need to calm down. What's wrong? No, I'm happy. Plus, you did not give up on me. Not to mention you actually like me. Doubted me? How do I put it? Somehow this doesn't seem real. In that case, will this make you feel? Eh? She stares a straight at me and calls my name, and then... Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> so gross. It's so gross. I let my eyes half shut, entranced. <laughs> My sight is fixed on her. I feel completely hypnotized by them. Kokoro, are you sure? Without her saying anything, I stand there waiting. Kokoro. It's like getting sucked in. Like, literally. Like, ew. Look at that. Like. Ew. Ew. Both of our soft touch. It's barely moist and slightly warm. Oh, it, oh God, it's so gross. These are Kokoro's lips. <laughs> it feels like every part of me is filling with warmth, even from the slightest of touches. My brain melts. It's a happiness overwhelming enough to make me think that way. Oh, oof, oof.
Is it over? How much time has passed since then? The feeling is hardly eternal. No matter how much time passes, it's so short. It's a comfortable yet painfully fleeting moment. What you saw? Those are my true feelings. Oh, I saw Portland. The hell is what I saw, bro. I didn't see feelings. <laughs> I saw death. I saw death and despair. Yeah. A little embarrassing, but I'm glad that I've done it. I'm not. Oh, I was surprised too, but it's like your heart is finally connecting. Me too. I feel the same way, Chitaro. But then, there's one question. How did you end up liking me? Not that I've suddenly fallen for you, you know. Eh? <laughs> no shit. I fell for you long before this. Why? Did something... Did I do something? No, she hit puberty and hormones started flooding in and you were the guy she spent the most time with. Yeah, don't you remember? The other kid said I was ugly all the time during elementary school. I can't imagine why. And when I was crying... How nostalgic. A long lost memory that I'd almost completely forgotten. You came to my rescue and told me this. I remember. The promise I made from that time. Kokoro, you're the world's cutest. <laughs> I'll definitely make you my bride in the future. Tears appear in her beautiful eyes. <laughs> do they all cry? Like, do all like seven of them cry? No, there's five. Do all five of them cry? You remember. That's my line. We made such enormous promises when we were little. I thought it didn't even matter. No, that's not true. From that time on, I've always liked you. Is that so? I'm sorry I kept you waiting. From now on, I'll definitely be the guy who brings you happiness. In the future, you'll definitely be my bride. Can we go back to the ending where I die? She keeps nodding while those large tears spill over her cheeks. Where are- what part of her face is her cheeks, exactly? Finally, she wipes them away. Dude, they're gonna fornicate and my head's gonna get ripped off. She's gonna eat me, bro. Ugh. We'll do our best again, starting tomorrow. Yeah, I'll work hard, to the best of my abilities. But if I'm really stuck with no other alternative, I'll definitely ask you for help. Yeah, of course. You can ask me anything. That's reassuring. Really. And let's work hard together. Yeah. Hmm? Oh. Don't say it back. Don't say it back. Be a man. Don't say it back. Paul, you didn't say it back. Is it gonna go to like the future or something like that? Or is it just gonna end there? It's just gonna end there. Alright. Fog. Ugh. You're so disturbed. The same. Honestly? Same. That was, um, that was a special kind of... <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Boys. 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 You gotta stay single, boys. Otherwise... You're gonna end up getting your fucking face ripped off by a weird bug girl after you fornicate with them or some shit. Some weird fucking shit like that. <laughs> Oh, bro. <laughs> oh, I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> Ew. At least there wasn't some weird sex scene, dude. Uh, oh. I feel like my soul was eaten, bro. So, here's the thing, guys. If you get involved, right? If you start to catch feelings... You're gonna get your ass beaten by a demon, stabbed to death, and then you're gonna get your soul sucked out by a bug girl and I wish you died instead. <laughs> Just stay single, boys. Just stay single. Just get out of there, boys. Although I will admit the see the the like uh, the gallery art for um 
and the dude was grabbing me by the lapel and he was like strangling me. That shit was that was some cool ass looking art, bro. And I will admit, if there was ever another one, I would play it. Just because that, like, you can't, you can't, you can't just gloss over the comedy gold that this was, realistically. Like, it was comedy gold. Kinda of disappointed that there's no like um gallery to look at the art. Um but the like the Steam page and stuff like that, like the ban the game banner for it showed uh like her in a, her in like a human form too. So I was kinda I'm kinda wondering like why like why it didn't show that at all or why didn't it have like a CG or like a gallery for that or anything like that which is a little bit weird to me but besides the point good novel um as disturbing as it was at some points like for me personally like uh, like you know like uh, <laughs> but it was good otherwise so don't fuck, don't try to fuck a bug chick bro it just doesn't work out dude that's so gross that's so gross <laughs> I'll see you next time, boys. <laughs> Peace out.